Before you swim like the pros, you can look like the pros. Get the new Arena USA National Team collection. Exclusive USA swimming gear, meat supplies, and much, much more at swimoutlet.com. The official online shop of USA Swimming. Um, I believe so, yeah. Um, so that was great. Uh, I didn't, I wasn't really expecting it and went the best time, which was great. I've only actually been 221 in this pool. So kind of a little fun fact, but yeah, it was a good race. Lily King was on fire in May. First, she dropped the number one times in the world in the 1500 breaststroke in her home pool in Bloomington, but King was just getting started. In Indy, in front of a home crowd, Lily beat Russian rival Yulia Efimova, not once, not twice, but three times in all three breaststroke distances, registering a lifetime best in the 200. Did she plan to swim this well? I wouldn't, I wouldn't say quite this well. I was not planning on going best time, um, but I mean, I'll take it, whatever. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's a really easy to swim fast at home because one, you don't really have to travel, and um, I know this pool, and I know the walls and the blocks like the back of my own hand, so um, it makes it pretty easy to swim faster. So, I gotta know, it's been nearly three years since the famous finger wag at Yulia, the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio. Outside of the fact that they're the same competitors, is there still beef between Lily and Yulia? Nah, I mean, you know, it was it was three years ago. I was 19, I didn't know what was going on, and um, it's easier to just get along, so, you know, obviously I don't like what she did, and she doesn't like what I did, but, you know, at some point we have to grow up and, and move on, and we're gonna race each other a lot more now, so. Um, it's, a little, it's a lot less tense in the ready room, which I have before. So if there's no beef now, What's pushing Lilia to swim this fast, this early in the season, in May? I don't know, not really. I mean, I'm just kind of no doing my normal thing. Um, I got a little bit of rest for, for this meet, not too much, but um, yeah, I mean, I've been training pretty well, and Andy's been pushing me a lot in practice, so um, I think that's, that's a little bit of it. Lily's doing work and seeing dividends from the IU Breaststroke Group. No surprise there. But there's one big change for King. She's a pro now. What's changed about her routine at IU? I mean, it's pretty much just like college, except I can make money now. Uh, I mean, we have such a large pro group that it's not really been that big of a change for me. Um, and luckily, my agent's been taking care of everything, so I don't really have to think too much, just swim, so it's been pretty easy. King seems like she has a very cool head heading into World Championships this summer. What does she think about going into her second World Champs after having so much success at her first in 2017? Well, I think I'm swimming a lot faster than I was in practice uh, two years ago, and also I'm just a lot more experienced now and um, kind of know the ropes a little more than I did two years ago because it was, I guess, only my second like national meet ever. So, um, yeah, it's, I think I'm going to do pretty well. I'm excited. Predictions. Two world records in the 50 and 100 breaststroke. She wins the 200 breast, but shy of the world record. Wait, no, three world records. Add the 400 medley relay to that. But who cares what I think? What do you think? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, I haven't seen the pool dressed up like this since doing the pool or even a probably 2009 World Trials. So um, anytime they turn the lights off at the pool, I swim fast, I don't know why, but <laughs> I seem to swim fast when all the pressure's on, so yeah.